So if you were to put the key in and you do a five, four, three, two, one. All right, Model Rocks 321 here, back with another video. If you're new to the channel, please take the time to subscribe and ring the bell notification so when the new videos come out, you will be the first to know. Ring that notification bell. And also, hit the like button for me so we can get up in the algorithm and more people can view the videos and comment and we can have some fun. But anyway, today I'm just going to talk about the orbital transport a little bit. This is mine, a restored one. It's not my original build. Um, I found somebody who had a collection for sale, and I got this one was in there. I kind of did a restore to it, touched up. I repainted it and um, got new decals, did all that kind of stuff. This is the old original one, too. It has the balsa nose cone. I believe this guy, he's an older guy. He was flying in the 70s and the 80s, so this is an older one, balsa nose cone. This red nose you see is um, this weight. Um, it helps with this glide and once I added that nose weight on there because it used to be like kind of like falling out of the sky but once I added that red nose that clay it gives a nice glide now and I painted the bottom red so it's easier to see in the sky because it was kind of hard to see from way up there I had a silver bottom and it was kind of matching the sky and the clouds when on those white sky days when it wasn't like a nice blue sky um, but other than that the restore went really nice you'll see that video on the end of this one Flew it a few times, great flight. I flew it with an onboard video once and you can see the glider separation. Like I said, stay tuned to the end of this video, you'll see the flight of this orbital transport. Um, went really well. And Estes, as we are speaking, this kit is coming out. Um, there's already been some photos of it, the parts, a couple people got some. I've seen maybe they're insiders. I've seen a couple people with the kit already um, showing all the parts and everything. It's going to be a cool release. It's going to probably be a nice seller for them because um, people have been waiting on this one. I already had this kit a couple times over. I have this one that's already built and I have a couple that are unbuilt Simrock version and an Estes version, I believe, an older Estes one that I just keep in the collection. It's not even, you know, my fly, it's my flyer right here. Um, but yeah, this one landing, you probably see, you'll see in the videos that I was getting broken top fins because the part of the desert where I was flying it was really hard. And when it land upside down, it was breaking the fins. Like, first couple flights but then I think my third or fourth flight it did not break the fins so everything worked out well um, just a great 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 rocket glad they're bringing it back um, I may get one I'm not sure I mean I already have so I don't necessarily need a new one because I already have this one and a couple of other ones but we will see but it's a great one you know you attach the glider it goes on that little hook piece just so you're familiar and it sits right on there like that once you have your engine in and all that stuff, you'll slide on a launch pad like that. And there you have it. It will launch. It will take off as you'll watch in the video on the end. Once it goes up, it'll arc over and this glider will be released. And it should do some nice loops for you. You have to trim it. You have to trim the fins. You know, get it nice and at a nice angle. Um, yeah, just follow the instructions. You'll be good. I, add, I had to add nose weight to mine. For some reason, it just gives a nice, bigger, wider glide with that nose weight. Um, while this, the booster will be falling back under parachute. I believe it's an 18 inch parachute in here, I forget. But I have my little system hooked up. Yeah, everything's original. I kept the original, other than the decals, and I had to repaint, but I kept all the original parts though. And this older orange parachute, I believe. Yeah, it's the old orange one. Old orange Estes parachute. But the Orbital Transport is one of the great ones. Um, there's a lot of great rockets that a lot of people love, and this is definitely one of those ones outside of scale stuff, you know. This is one of the greats, um, easily a top five kit. If this was there was a poll, this rocket, this rocket will wind up in the finals for sure. It will wind up in the finals. Um, I got the decals once I restored it from Tango Papa, but something was weird. They were double side. It was they worked out here. I think the door. I think the ones with the windows, yeah, wound up being there. Something was kind of weird. I forget what it was. I know I had to cut something. I had to make an adjustment along the way. I forget. Is this fine? Yeah, maybe they were good. Maybe they were good. I think I'm thinking of another kit. Yeah, doors here. I guess everything's fine. But yeah, I thought something was weird with like the um, so, not the sizing, like the reverse. You had to reverse the decals. So I guess this one worked out. Maybe that's another kit. Other decals, rather. But yeah, cool overall rocket. This is an old one, like I said. Um, just had restored it a while ago. I've been flying it here and there. Like I said, balsa, balsa nose cones, old original one. That's these orbital transport. Be sure to 
like the video one more time check the links in the description uh, model rock 321 website is up got some stem education books for the youth for the kids and the kids in your family that are getting into the hobby or you want to guide them in that direction there's some stem education books for them in four different languages and there's some t-shirts some model rock 321 t-shirts and things like that you guys can get so we will be back with another video like share and subscribe to the channel it's model rock is three two one all right model rocks 321 here be sure to check out my omega t-shirt you can get one of these check the link in the bio go to the shop there's also the little joe one t-shirt there as well check it out